Hello friends, and welcome to part 18 of our Fast API tutorial. Uh, in this video, we are going to very quickly touch on um, including request forms and files in the same request. Uh, in the last video, we touched on uh, just doing file uploads. We have touched on form fields. Now we're going to combine them. This, this should be a very quick video, uh, just to show you a couple of things. So we're going to start typing on a thing that we need to bring the cursor over. I was typing on something else. I don't know what I was typing on. I hope I'm still recording. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, let's keep going. We're going to power through. So we're going to go to files. We're going to post to files, I should say. Async def create file. File is going to be bytes. File. Nope, that's not what I want. And my key bindings are weird because I use a Mac for work and I'm not used to switching back so quickly. Return, we're going to return just an empty dictionary for now. So, file is going to be a bytes file. File B is going to be a an upload file. Which again is going to be a file format. And token is going to be a string which is going to be a form field. Let's let black reformat the file. Okay. Now we're just going to return file size, length of the file, token, token, and file B content type, file B content type. Okay. Now let's go into our, our app here. Let's open up the page, try it out. You'll notice this is again a multi-part form data. Um, we need to have uh, the Python multi-part installed. We already do because we've been doing this for you know a few videos now. We've been using a uh, multi-part parser. Uh, so now we can go in here. We can choose a file, requirements. File B will be to be uploaded and token will be hello YouTube. We go ahead and hit execute and we can see we get the file size for our first file, the requirements.txt is 61. The file B shows up last because that's the way we've declared it for some strange reason. I put it after token even though it's before it in here. Token is going to be hello YouTube. Content type is text plain. Okay? Fairly straightforward. That's kind of it. That's really all that we need for something like this. This is a very short video. I probably should have thrown it onto the last video, but honestly, I didn't have time to uh, to include it. Um, and you know what? Every once in a while, you need a short video. Um, one thing to mention, I should I should always reiterate. Um, you can put in um, hello string equals body. And we are going to return hello is hello. We're going to hit save and we're going to refresh. And you'll notice, I mean, this is what I've, I've said this in, in a couple, um, uh, in a couple videos now, but what we're going to do, we're going to choose requirements to be uploaded and we're going to hit execute. And what we will notice, if I expand that out, what we will notice is that we have form data. So the body attribute, again, assumes that we're going to have a JSON input. But if we have some other form input, whether it's a form attribute or a file attribute, not attribute, that's not the right thing, input type, um, it's going to, it's going to, convert this into a, a multi-part form data type. I don't know what the terminology is, but even if you're telling it you want it to be JSON, it gets overridden by the more powerful multi-part form data types. Uh, okay, that's it. Uh, next video is going to be a little bit longer. We're going to kind of move on to a new, a new topic, which is going to be handling errors. That bit, errors, errors. Uh, that video will probably be a little bit longer. So, okay, I will see you there.